Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panneka Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a C program to find the second largest element in an array. Lot of students are familiar and comfortable to write the program to find the largest element in an array. But if we ask the write a C program to find the second largest element, majority of students will fail to do it. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for learning how to find the second largest element in array. Now let me discuss what is the second largest element in an array. Let's take that I have an array element such as 10, 20, 15, 100, 9 is there. Now what is the largest element? 100 is the largest element but I don't want the largest element. I want the second largest element. 20 is the second largest element. This I want as an output. Then people will say that sir this is very simple. I will perform the sorting. They will say that I will sort them in the decreasing order. Meaning is that if they do in the decreasing order sorting, you will get the values as 100, 20, 15, 10, 9. Then they will say that sir you want second largest element. So the second element is the second largest element. So you try to print only the array name and index with one then you will get it. But sorting is more time complex, am I right? If you are using a bubble sort, it will take order of n square. If you are taking the quick sort, it will be log a, n log n. All these are the problems. So, to avoid this one without using the sorting, I want to find the second largest element in array. Is it clear? Then how can you do it? Suppose let's take that four teams are playing the Asia Cup, such as India, Australia, sorry, in Asia, Australia will not be there. India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh is playing. Then how can we say that which team will win? How we will predict? By looking at the team rankings, we will say that this team will win the matches. But usually how the matches will happen? First India will play with Pakistan. India will play with the Sri Lanka. India will play with the Bangladesh. Similarly, Pakistan will play with Sri Lanka. Like that matches will go on. Finally, whoever gets the majority of the points, they will be the winners. So similarly, what I will do is that when we are computing the largest element or second largest element, first we will assume that the first element is the largest element. This element we will compare with the next element. If we found that this 2 is greater than 1, then we will assume that second largest element, the, sorry, the largest element is this one and the second largest element will be this one. Are you able to understand? Now I will compare this one with this one. Now again this one is greater than this one so I will consider this is the largest and this will be the second largest and again I will compare this one with this one this one is greater so I will consider this as the largest element and this is the second largest element like that we will do it. So let me write the entire program then I will discuss with you. So let me use the header file called stdio.h. and void main. Let me use the variables or let me declare the variables. What are the variables? I will use them in the program. Okay. I will use an array. Let's take the a of 6. Okay. 6 values I am entering and then I want to find the second largest. So I will take the largest max 1, second largest as max 2. Then I need to take the i. Okay. Is it clear? Till now these are the variables I want to use. So I have declared them. If any variable if I want to use I will declare there. Okay. So first I need to ask the user to print the six elements. Enter the six elements. Okay. And all these elements I need to read. So I will use a for loop initializing with 0 and the condition checking is i less than 6, i plus plus. Then I will use the inbuilt function called scanf and I will use a format specifier percentage d because I here I am reading the integer constants and I am present a of i. So you have read all the elements. Now you need to find the first largest and second largest. Okay, so what I will assume that max 1 is equal to max 2 is equal to a of 0. Meaning is that the first element 
the first element I am considering it as a max largest element and the second largest element right now. We don't know about the rest of the elements. Okay. Then I need to start checking from the second element. So that's why I need to start the for loop from one. Lot of students will think that this is a mistake because I assume that this is the largest element and second largest element. Now the comparison should start from the second element. So that's why the index I am starting from one. Okay. And i less than six, i plus plus. Okay. Now look at these points. Let me write the code. If max one is less than a of i. Is it clear? Then what will happen? Then max 2 is equal to max 1 okay then max 1 is equal to a of i okay is it clear are you able to understand it or not let me complete the program then i will discuss with an example else if if this condition is failed what should i do else if i want to check another condition if max 2 is greater than a of i logical and okay are you able to understand i'm using a logical and a of i not equal to max 1 okay then i need to assume that max 2 is equal to a of i means i need to assign the a of i to the max 2 okay close the else if close the for loop then you print the the second largest element in the array is the second largest element is percentage d max 2 okay as you use the void main let me use the get ch function and close the main so this is the c program to find the second largest element in an array without performing the sorting okay if you perform the sorting then you can say that the second element will be the second largest element okay but without sorting i want to write the program now let me trace this program with a simple example let me take this example only you have 10 20 15 109 okay now max 1 Initially, what value is there? A of 0. A of 0 is nothing but 10. Let me write the index also. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Is it clear? I have used the 5 values only. Okay. Are you able to understand? Or if you have a doubt, let me write here also some 16. No problem. Okay. Now, max 1 is equal to 10 and max 2 is 10. Okay and i value is initially 0. Is it clear? Now, let me do this one. You know how to read the values. That part I will not do. I will discuss the main part or the main logic in this program. i is equal to 1. So, i value is 1 here. Okay, no problem. Now, i is less than 6. This is the condition. If this condition is true, you will execute the statements which are there in the for loop. Now, what is the condition? 1 is less than 6 or not. I value is 1. 1 is less than 6. Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, you will execute these statements. Now, let me check the, what is the statement 1. You have a if condition. Now, again, if this condition is true, you will execute this part. If this condition is true, you will execute this part. Let's see it. Which part will be correct? Max 1 is less than a of i. What is the max 1 is 10? 10 is there in max 1 in a of i a of i means a of 1 in a of 1 what value is there 20 so this condition is true max 1 is less than a of 1 this condition is true if this condition is true you will execute these two statements what is these two statements max 2 is equal to max 1 max 2 is equal to max 1 okay already 10 is there no problem max 1 is equal to a of i max 1 <coughs> is equal to a of i a of i means a of 1 which will be 20 
okay are you able to understand it or not so again you will go for the increment now the i value will become 2 i value will become 2 again the condition is true 2 is less than 6 okay no problem 2 is less than 6 again you will execute the statements which are there in the for loop max 1 what is the max 1 20 is less than a of 2 or not you need to check max 1 is 20 a of i a of i means a of 2 what is a of 2 15 is it true 20 is less than 15 no this condition is failed if this condition is failed you will come and check this condition what is this condition max 2 what is max 2 10 is less than a of i 15 is it clear are you able to understand 10 is less than 15 i agree there is a logical end meaning is that what is the meaning of logical end if this condition and this condition both are true then only the entire condition will be true the condition 1 is true look at the condition 2 a of i a of i is nothing but what a of 2 a of 2 not equal to max 1 max 1 is what a of 2 is this one and max 1 is 20 now a of 2 a of 2 is what 15 15 not equal to 20 will you agree with me or not 15 is not equal to 20 so even this condition is true so this both the conditions are true so you need to execute this statement max 2 is equal to a of i what is max 2 is a variable a of i means a of 2 a of 2 is what 15 so in max 2 you will get the value as 15 are you able to understand it or not so if this condition is failed then you will come and check whether this condition is true or false even if this condition is also failed you will go for the next iteration if this condition is true you will execute this part now let me increment the value the i value will be updated to 3 okay now again we will check the for loop condition is true or not yes 3 is less than 6 the condition is true as this condition is true i will need to execute the statements which are there in the for loop first i need to look at this condition max 1 is less than a of i max 1 is 20 less than a of i a of i is nothing but a of 3 a of 3 is 100 yes this condition is true if this condition is true what i need to do max 2 is equal to max 1 max 2 is equal to max 1 means here also 20 will come into the picture okay now max 1 is equal to a of i a of i means a of 3 max 1 is equal to a of 3 100 so in max 1 100 will come then what i need to do i need to increment the i value so it will become 4 are you able to understand now again i need to look at this condition 4 is less than 6 yes 4 is less than 6 if 4 is less than 6 this condition is true so you need to execute this for loop so look at the condition 1 which is there in the if max 1 what is max 100 less than a of i a of i means a of 4 a of 4 is 9 100 is less than 9 no it is wrong so this condition is failed now you need to come and check this condition is it clear max 2 max 2 is 20 is less than a of 4 a of 4 is 9 whether this condition is true this condition itself is false remember this one logical end if this condition itself is failed whatever this condition whether it is true or false it does not matter so you no need to evaluate this expression finally you can say that this entire condition is failed is it clear or not what is the logical end if both the conditions are true if any one of the condition is fail the entire condition will be fail so the first condition itself fail i no need to evaluate the second condition okay is it clear so even if this one is also fail you need to simply increment the i value which will become 5 okay are you able to understand now look at this one i less than 6 5 less than 6 or not yes again true so this statements which are there in the for loop you need to be execute max 1 what is the max 1 100 let me use the red pen max 1 is 100 okay good 
a of i a of i means a of 5 which is 16 whether 100 is less than 16 no this condition is failed if this condition is failed you will go and check this condition what is this one max 2 max 2 is 20 a of i meaning is that a of 5 which is 16 whether 20 is less than 16 no this condition itself fail if this condition itself is fail you no need to check this expression and finally you can simply say that this else if also failed if this else if is also failed you need to increment the i value okay so i value will become 6 now you need to check this condition 6 is less than 6 no so even this for loop condition is fail you need to come out from the for loop and you need to execute the next statement after the for loop this is the ending of the for loop so the next statement is print of the second largest element is max 2 so you will get the second largest element is 20 so from this program what is the second largest element 20 is the second largest element and i got the correct output so i hope you have understood how i have written this program and whether this program is right or wrong if you have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment session and i request everyone to write this program and compile this program and look at it and if you are ready to learn the new things i request you to find the third largest element in an array and write the logic in the comment session thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day